Sixth grade, module one, lesson 26, problem set. What is 15% of 60? So we know that 15% as a fraction is equal to 15 out of 100. And we want to know what that would be equivalent to if we were talking about something out of 60. So we don't know the part. The part is what we're trying to figure out. Now, there's no way for me to easily equate that to 60 because there's nothing I can divide, there's not a whole number I can divide by to get to 60. So I'm going to reduce 15 one hundredths. And I can divide them both by 5. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So 3 twentieths is equal to what out of 60? Now that I can equal easily. Uh, multiply and figure out 20 times, I'll do a different color, 20 times 3 is 60, so we just need to do 3 times 3 is 9, so it should be 9. But let's create a model to prove that. So I'm going to evenly split that into 20 pieces. One more. Okay, so we're going to have 0 to 20 on one side. And on the other side, we have 60. So 0 to 60. And I need to split that evenly among the 20 spaces. So 60 divided by 20 is 3. So it's going to go in increments of 3. So we'll have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54, 57, and 60. And what we're looking for is 3 twentieths. So 3 twentieths would be right there. And that is equal to 9. If 40% of a number is 56, what was the original number? So 40% of something is 56. I'm going to do this over here. So 40% is equal to 56 of something. So we can make this into 40 out of 100 is equal to 56. Now 56 is the part. We don't know the whole number, the original number. We just know that the part was 56. We don't know the whole number. Now there's not an easy way for me to get to 56, so I'm going to do some reducing. I can these two zeros can cancel out and I can get 4 tenths is equal to 56 out of something. And I'm not sure if 4 can go into 56, but I think it can. So I'm going to do 56 divided by 4 and see if it can go in there evenly. So 4 goes into 5 one time. Subtract. 4 goes into 16 four times. So it does. It goes in 14. So we can multiply by 14 to get 56, which means if we multiply 10 by 14, we'll get 140, and the whole number is 140. And that one doesn't say that we need to draw a model, so I'm just going to stick with that representation. Number three, in a 10 by 10 grid that represents 800, one square represents how much? So a 10 by 10 grid 10 by 10 is 100. So that means when there are 100 little pieces and the whole thing is 800, one square represents. So we could do 800 divided by the 100 will be equal to 8. So one square, each of the squares is equal to 8. Now, 
It says use the grids below to represent 17% and 83% of 800. So 17%, I'm just going to shade in 17. So there's 10, 17. Now, if we have 17 shaded in each of these blocks, is equal to 8. So there's 8, 8, 8. So all of those are equal to 8. What we can do is take the 17 and multiply it by 8. Seven, 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 1 is 13. So that would be equal to 136. And then if we had 83%, so now I'm going to shade in, there's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So there's 83%. So now remember each one is 8. I'm not going to draw 8 in all 83 of them, but we can do 83 times 8. 3 times 8 is 24. Carry the 2. 8 times 8 is 64 plus 2 is 66. So we would have 664 is equal to 83% of 800.